Hello, today I'm going to highlight to you a feature about cross chart filtering that is available in SAP Business Objects Cloud. My name is Ivo van der Zand, SAP Analytics, and I'm currently logged in in wave 22 of SAP Business Objects Cloud. So let's start with a blank uh, story and create a new one. So I'm ticking the menu and create new story. And creating a new story, I can use the various templates, which I will um, discuss in a later uh, video. But I'm now starting with a blank uh, page. I'm adding a canvas page. And imagine uh, the idea is to have um, two graphs where one graph influences the other graph when it comes to filtering and drilling. So let me <coughs> click adding a chart. And uh, of course I need to uh, select a model and let me pick a model that I use quite often. So a model with a bit of finance data in there. <coughs> and um, over here I can now create my first chart. Let me create the following. I'm uh, going to choose a simple bar column chart and I'm going to uh, add uh, one or two measures, for example, revenue and um, budget. And as I did mention, I'm going to add, uh, well, let's have a look. Uh, we can, for example, take the PL um, elements over here. Yeah, so let me change the color of the chart quickly for you. So I apply another color model and uh, let us choose this one. So over here you see my uh, cost and revenue elements. I can uh, drill down if I want by clicking cost, I drill down. And if I take this one, I can drill further or I can drill up back again. So uh, let me, now we have now one chart. The idea was to have this influencing another one. So I'm adding a new chart into my analysis. So I'm adding a second chart right now. So uh, just by clicking the insert button and let us uh, choose a, for example, a donut, donut chart. And as a measure, I choose, um, well, let me tick forecast. And as a measure uh, or dimension, I choose the country. Uh, <clears throat> also change this color, color screen and choose the same one. And now I'd like to uh, have this chart with my cost and revenue driving my donut. And I can do that as follows. By clicking on the um, bar chart, I can go to this button, which says linked analysis. <clears throat> and if I click the linked analysis, I can, uh, I have uh, over here various options. I can, uh, leave it as is, yeah, so there's no impact. I can <coughs> link it to the chart set uh, over here, the one that I've selected, you see, these two ones are now applied, or I can even choose the whole story. If I have more pages, it affects all pages. Let me first click this button <coughs> and show you the, the uh, effect on the analysis. So I've now ticked the link chart set, and you can see that as link chart set that both charts are now uh, related towards each other. It means the following, that if I now drill down, have a look at the donut, you will see that the donut goes with me and also drills down. If I make a selection, for example, on this chart set, and I say filter, you will see that now also this one is filtered. Yeah. However, I can do a little more. Let me go back to the original situation by <coughs> deleting the filters. So this is my original um, uh, situation where I was. I drill up again, so no filters, drill up again. There is another feature that is very interesting that I didn't show you yet. For the moment, this chart drives the other one, but I can also have the individual elements driving the filtering of the other one. And I can do that as follows, by clicking again the linked analysis button. 
but now I also apply this filter on data point selection and it says in the information filtering on selection is currently not supported in boardroom mode if I uh, apply this one you can see what's happening now um, by showing you as follows I've clicked the element if I now click for example one element over here you will see that the filtering now also appears. I can control click two elements and now these two elements are now uh, applying a filter to the donut. If I take the other one, now these three elements are applying the filter. Yeah, I can unfilter. Yeah, I still have the drill down functionality that applies. If I go to a lower level of detail, for example, within local expenses, go to the lowest detail. And if I now, for example, control click, you can see the cost chart filtering being applied. I've now selected six elements and these are now the filter based for the other one. I can add more charts so that this filter is applied to all of them or I can deselect others so that it only applies to the graphs you want it to apply to. Many thanks for your attention.